What's the difference if we shoot in like in a white or gray and a green? It's also possible to cut out of the background from the gray or white because it's called isolated, but it's going to be difficult with the small details because it could be similar color range uh -huh. in the hair and the skin tone. Be That's white. why we're using the green because not such a color on a human skin tone and we try to get a dress that's not containing the green. Mm -hmm. If you have to shoot dress with a green color, sometimes you can shoot in a blue chroma key. If you get model right here, and this light's really strong, the affected like model on the sides, it's called spill. You still get it like in the legs, especially a lot of things in the hair. That's why we try to move model a little bit out of the background, at least not affected here, so this Bright light get less stuff, we get more control in the front lights. We get a lot of green images, which is difficult to get in other studios, and give a lot of homework to do. You're gonna play with this and see how it works. So we get imagination of the street of New York, the model shop in the street of New York spring collection, with some maybe yellow caps in the background, mm -hmm. and some uh, maybe Saks Fifth Avenue, or Bloomingdale's, and some other store. It's a lot of picture exists over the internet, even a smaller resolution like this, you can make a draft, even with a smaller resolution, if it looks right. And if you really like it, you can come to the same place and reshoot it within New York City. Wait, wait, wait. Should we put another light here, even it out? No. Why not? I think we get a beauty picture. And uh, look, I tell you what, we can use a reflector maybe on the side, but not another light, because if we try to match, let's say, natural outside stuff, let's say, girl go in the street, it's no even lights right. outside. So we, we're trying to match the sun on this condition. So the huge soft box like this is gonna work like big sunlights on the street. So it's gonna imitate the perfect lighting outside. So girls go on shopping in New York City outside with the bags, get happy spring collection. And we try to find the same background with the same lighting direction from the right side. This was the agenda to, to when you get it to the shot. So, Get the same direction of the light when you get in the shot, and same direction of the light in the background, so it does, doesn't look artificial or fake. It's checking. Not so bad. You shooting a raw plus JPEG, right? Yes. All right. So we're gonna correct it later. Okay. Let's do it again. Funny face. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's great. Yes. One more. Great. Uh -huh, look out. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's me. You're crossing the street. Okay. Good. One more. Just wide step, you're crossing the street, I shoot him from this. Okay, bum. And shoulders, shoulders to me. Twist your body. Good. One more. Shoulders to me. Okay. And one more. Okay, good. Uh huh. Okay. Just, just like this. <laughs> okay, one more. Uh mm huh. -hmm. One more. More shoulders to me. Okay, genius question. What we shooting today? What's the story about? The spring dress with the sp like, you know, high heels crossing the street with the background of Manhattan. Shopping spree, it's, it's a great idea, so we can imagine what this is about. Spending money, happy, like New York City, shopping, beautiful woman, sophisticated style, designer dress. This is something like promoting some products and lifestyle. But getting like coat or just hat and like, it's, it's, it's possible, but it's not really like impressive.